What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to our podcast called the Super Deep Podcast. And wait a minute, it looks a little different around here. What don't you think, Kaleo? Oh, it absolutely looks different, and I love it. So it is different in a way of we are gonna say farewell to the name, not the podcast, just the name of the podcast called Super Deep Podcast, and we are gonna be calling it the not the we're gonna be calling it inside the pack and there's a lot of uh there's a whole big reason of why we're changing the name and we'll shortly get into it but you know it, it was definitely it was definitely a good ride you know i think i've changed the name twice um yep. once with just me and then the second time when i when i brought you on the team yep. and uh yeah it's been a great wi bleh, wide it's been a great ride you know with all of our guests coming on you know the laughters and the Teasing me and the dissing me, just me. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm just great. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't like it. Was a great wide. Um, hopefully you enjoyed wide. it. Did I say wide again? Whatever. <laughs> I just told you that I needed to work on my talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited of this new journey. I mix. I ecstatic of what we already did. You know, we've got a lot of great feedback. Yeah, we've come so far from, you know, when you first started to when when we started together, we've definitely grown. We've had really good times. We've had deep conversations, really great laughs, great people on to share their stories with us and their experiences and everything. It's it's been a, a really magical ride, I think, for everybody. Yeah, so. for sure. And I, I don't I don't know if I told you, but my mom I know my mom's listening and actually my sister mentioned it too, but they were like, Good thing you got Khalil because uh she 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 makes it more interesting. And I'm like, Wow, so you didn't like it? You didn't like it when it was just me? <laughs> she was like it brings like my mom tried to like get sophisticated and she was like, It brings in like, you know, another you know, what is the word? It it just brings something better to, to the table. I'm like, Wow, mom. <laughs> <laughs> it brings my, that feminine side to it my sister said that my sister was like it's good because it, it brings a feminine perspective of you know whatever's topic you guys talk about which is yeah. kind of what i was looking for really <laughs> yeah well and i feel like a lot of podcasts really kind of need that perspective because we look at things differently even though a lot of the time we have a lot in in common as far as our views and things like that I can still look at it from a outside female perspective when right. you're saying something where I'm like, <laughs> right, 50 shades. Okay. <laughs> we, okay. That's going to be in the past. <laughs> like the soup would be the Never. name is going to be in the past. And we're going to leave it there. <laughs> we're going to leave it there. But let me make a shout out to my, my nephew, my wife's nephew. Uh, his name is Mika. Uh, me and my wife recently visited back home in Hawaii um and we attended his funeral he's uh he was 20 and he battled cancer for like nine eight nine years um he beat wow. it multiple times and you know he's a strong kid and you know one thing one thing that i i remember about him was he really enjoyed his life you know regardless of the cancer right so shout out to mika uh Pue, love you little nephew and you know represent st louis up there and 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 our and and the heavens up there, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, cancer is uh, B I T C H. It really like is. It. No, yeah, we're gonna get started. So I uh, just wanted to make a shout out, and I'll have that in. Uh, I'll have that in the episode. Just want to shout it out, quick, and all those you know people who are struggling through the sickness of this horrible disease. You know, may you guys you know stay strong, and you know we'll we'll keep you everybody in our prayers that you know God will provide the strength that you guys need to to push through it amen amen well and actually you know I, I i always forget like whenever i am saying prayers about it like i forgot that i do mention you know to uh provide strength for the family members as well because they struggle too with it you know yeah everybody goes through it you know right. and it's not it's friends family everybody like yeah the person that has it's physically going through it and all of the mental aspects of it and the physical aspects of it but 
it is still absolutely mentally and physically draining on those that love them. Right, right. You know, for those of you who don't know, I know a lot of you guys do know that do listen to the podcast, but I started uh, my own company, um, and which is the reason why we changed the name of the podcast because the podcast is going to be a part of this company. And do you want to break the news of what the company's called or should I do it? Hey, it's your baby. <laughs> I'm here to help support and be along to make sure we make things happen together. All righty. Well, the company is called Pacific Ave Company. And for those of you who follow me on my social medias, I'm sure, I'm sure you guys saw videos of me explaining what it is. But I'm going to explain it on here on the podcast for those of you who didn't see that. But, you know, Pacific Ave Company, you know, short for PAC, um, there's a bunch of things to it. But, you know, the whole thing behind the company is I wanted to... I wanted this company to be a platform for our whole Pacific Islander culture as a whole. Um, and when I say that, you know, a lot of people only know or, yeah, they only know that there's Polynesians where there's Hawaiians, Samoans, um, um, uh, New Zealander, like, or not New Zealanders, Maori people from New Zealand. Um, but what people don't understand or don't know is that there is three parts, right? There is Polynesians. And then there's a Melanesian section and then there's a Micronesian section. So the company wants to embrace the togetherness of all of our Pacific Islanders and, and kind of like uh, be that beacon of unity so that we all remember that we all come from the same family. We all grew up in the same neighborhood. Um, so that's, you know, kind of like the message behind why I started the company. Um, and you know, how we're going to do that is obviously through the podcast, you know, we're going to continue with what we're doing, bringing yeah. on different guests, you know, from different walks of life, from different cultures, from different islands. And they just, you know, they share their story of their life and their upbringings. And, you know, we're going to notice that, um, and we've already noticed cause we've had different cultures, Samoan, Hawaiian. Uh, we've had a uh, part Tahitian person. I don't think we mentioned it though, but I just knew that they were Tahitian, but it was very similar of everybody's upbringing. Cause yeah, like, like I said, we all came from the same family at the end of the day, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm excited. Cause it's, it's like a new chapter, you know, it's, it's like we had a really good ride with the super deep podcast and now we're starting a new chapter and we're going to ride the wave with it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, you know, my, the question was like my mom, I know I'm going off a of script, but, or off script, but the question for my mom was like, she asked me, I think it was yesterday. She was like, you know, a lot of my coworkers are asking me, Oh, what is this? You know, what is this new company star started? Like what company is, or what is it? And my mom's like, I don't know what to tell them. Like what exactly is it? And so I told her, you know, I, I kind of thought about it a little bit. I was like, hey, yeah, because I don't want it to be a clothing brand. I don't want it to just be a podcast. It's kind of like that umbrella company that has different avenues that promotes the message. So I told yeah. my mom, it's it's a brand, but it's more than just a brand. It's more of like a, a cultural movement. You know? Yeah, absolutely. So. Because we've all, we've all gotten to a point where we've kind of divided ourselves and we need to realize that we shouldn't be that way. I mean, humanity in general shouldn't be divided, but bringing, bringing all of the Pacific together to us, I know for you and me is very important. Yeah, for sure. And I know there's a lot of people that feel the same way. Um, and I've seen a lot of and so like so going back to why i started it right you know for a while you know i've seen a lot of people do exactly what you said you know separate themselves from their own people and yes i granted like i said in my instagram video yes i understand that we have our own individual cultures but we're yeah. all a part of a bigger collective heritage you know we all came from somewhere we all came from the same place and i hate to quote the movie because it's not very Polynesian or, you know, obviously <laughs> Polynesian or uh, Islanders didn't make the movie. But Moana is correct. We were voyagers, you know. We voyaged out to different um, um, lands. You know, we, we, we had some people settle in different lands. And then from there, over time, 
different you know cultures uh, uh um adapted and 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 kind of made it to their own way of living on that specific island and i was doing a lot of reading more reading on you know the discovery of our islands you know there's there's different um names for it so there's oceania there's pacifica or pacifica pacific south pacific so you know and and i'm i'm saying this because i'm going into the um the establishment of the names polynesian yeah. melanesian micronesian you know a lot of people don't like that because they see it as like separating our peoples but it's like at the end of the day you know it was it was back in the days it was their way of mapping out certain islands or certain things or just getting things on record right and yeah i guess that was just the name that was brought up or made up you know it's just like everything else in the world right you know something something you take something and it's already established and you run with it and and kind of get it away from whatever negative thoughts that they might have about it right yeah so, um i felt like i was going on a rant but that's what, hey that's what we do you <laughs> know yeah no but it's just like you know there's you know i'm not calling anybody out but i just seen supple couple supple couple examples of you know people on social media and you guys already know social media is just a crap show there's always negative stuff up there there's cyberbullying and everything right but there's people saying on social media commenting on videos saying that like oh i i don't i don't put myself into polynesian i'm only hawaiian or i'm only maori or i'm only samoan and i'm not polynesian or i'm not melanesian like wh why are you separating yourselves from your own people you know what i'm yeah. saying yeah so that's the reason why you know i wanted to make this this brand of something that's like uh represents the collective of the whole south pacific culture i love it yeah i mean there's gonna be a lot of things that you know when when different guests come on the show or different topics we talk about we're both gonna learn you know i don't know much about the micronesian micronesia i don't I'm, i don't either right uh so we're gonna learn a lot and you know for those of you guys who are listening you guys are gonna learn with us you know i've i've known a lot of micronesian people i'm sure you do too oh yeah but i haven't really dove deep into it but just from like the gist of knowing um people from that section of the ocean i could tell that it was it's very similar to my upbringing as a samoan or hawaiian or as a polynesian you know yeah i'm excited i'm excited anytime i can learn something else I, it lights a fire you know right right what are, what, are, what are your thoughts? You know, we're going to talk a little bit, just a little bit about just the names and stuff. And then, you know, this is going to be a short episode, guys. It's more of like an introduction of the new company, the new name, the new face. And I mean, you still got two same faces here, but like, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but um, yeah, so like with, with talking about Melanesian, Polynesian, and Micronesian, like what are your thoughts? Uh, based off of people saying that oh the the settlers came and gave us those names and they gave us those names to separate us and this and that and like what what are your thoughts on it i mean i can understand where some people come from as far as you know that aspect goes of saying that you know it was to segregate us and to separate us and to make sure that you know we were labeled um but I also understand that in a way it was just, it was, a, it was a way of being like, okay, there's, there's this section, there's this section and there's this section just so as a, as a geographical type stance, I understand that. Do I think it was necessarily right? No, not necessarily, but I do understand it from a logical standpoint of trying to say as a geographical standpoint, this is where we're coming from. but again in the end we're all the same so yeah we all came from we all came from the same place really and even that too is up in the air there's there's it's really a hearsay you know with, with our, yeah. our ancestors passing down stories passing down stories pass it's just like a, a game of telephone telephone yeah it's, absolutely the message at the end is always a little discombobulated heck yeah and then that's what you know especially with our generations now 
you know, and, and we, you know, we have our kids and what we're trying to teach our kids. There's a lot of them that's like telling these kids, you know, passing down the same story and telling them that, yes, this is the correct story. Not and not telling them that, like, you know, the story may have changed over time. But from what I was brought up and what I understand, this is what I believe. It may not yeah. be right, but this is what I believe. There's, there's yeah. a difference. You know what I'm saying? So for, for our own people to say that, like, this is the right way, this is the only way, I don't, I don't think we should be doing that, you know? Right. Oh, absolutely agree. Because um, then, there's the, like, going back to the studies part, there's, there's so much scientific studies of, like, I don't know, they grab, like, the particle in the air flowing a certain way. I'm, like, reading this, I'm reading all these studies and stuff. Like, they use science to, to figure out, like, I don't know how they do it, but they do it, right? They figure out how and where certain bloodlines, like, come from which direction. And that's how they try to, like, you know, put pieces together. Okay, these people came from here, 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 here. And it's not just us, right? It's every other culture out there. Yeah. Right? And so, so it's all up in the air. Like, we don't know. And I'm sure a lot of, a lot of our islanders can agree that, like, yeah, we were taught something, but... We don't know exactly for sure where our people came from. We just know that it came from this general area and that we all, yeah. they migrated out, you know? Yeah. So at the end of the day, man, that's, that's the message. You know, we, we are the same. Grew up in the same neighborhood. I think, well, I told you about, you know, how I got the name, right? Of the company. Yes. It's pretty, what do you think? You think it's pretty cool? Pacific Ave. I do. I do. I think it's really cool. I know. Because, I mean, like, like, yeah, it, it is. It's like it's like a highway that joins us all together, you know? Like, it's, it's just, we have all these different off-ramps that we can go to to get to our different locations. Right. But, yeah. That's pretty cool. I, I, I told uh, one of my friends, you know, why or how I came up with the name, and he was like, wow, clever. <laughs> uh, and if you guys are listening, right, so think of, you know, when, when, you, when you hear the word avenue, you think of a street, you think of a highway or whatever, and it's, you know, connecting the different neighborhoods, the houses, right? And so look at the ocean, the Pacific Ocean, as the street, the avenue. And then look at all of the different islands. Think of those as all of the houses. And then obviously all the people on the islands are people living in the houses, and they grew up in the same neighborhood. So that's kind of, you know, how I came about with the name Pacific Ave, right? It's the it's the street of the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh it's gonna be a great ride. I uh you know looking forward to you know all the different guests, you know, coming up on the episode. I I don't know, you you wanna bring up anything before we start heading heading off? I I do wanna I do wanna get a one must go in real quick. <laughs> Killing me with those. It's not that bad. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. Except for the one that I still refuse to ever answer. You know, I actually I will, answered. I will. You did? I thought I answered in that last other episode. Did you? I still, I won't. No, I won't. I won't. Well. You can't make me. I chose Mr. Rice Show. It is what it is. It is what it is. Eventually, one day, we will get there for you. Uh, we, <laughs> everybody in the world needs to know your answer. No. <laughs> <laughs> but no. yeah, any, any, any final thoughts on, you know, the journey coming up, you know, the, 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 the you know, Pacific Ave company, you know, what, what I'm trying to do, you know, for our peoples. I mean, really, I could just, could just read off what what we're thinking i mean let's be honest here i mean it's a family that's 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 what it is bottom line you know it's a community that celebrates our traditions and, and you know, where we want to go how we want to move forward going from here and trying to bring people together and just you know unite all of us like that that to me is like one of the most important things of all of this is is just uniting us all together, bringing us together as a community, as a family, as a whole. And you you already know me. 
I, I, I do that on my other platforms. Like that's just, that's just something that it's, that's always been. And to be able to educate, not just us, but others as well, because there's so many of us nowadays that just, we just think that, you know, what's there right in front of us is what is definite when it isn't exactly. So being able to learn from multiple other individuals from all walks of life and being able to open up our eyes and other people's eyes. Come on now. That's that's a beautiful thing. So I just want to, you know, have that understanding and appreciation on a global standpoint. Right, right. I'm glad uh, I'm glad you said, you know, you emphasize the unite part because you know, I was thinking about what made what's going to make this company different, right? And and if you look at all of the different, you know, local brands in Hawaii or in Samoa or Fiji or New Zealand, right? A lot of their brands is very specified to that culture, yeah. that individual culture. Like you got Hawaii's finest. It's very Hawaiian culture inspired. You got other brands in Samoa doing the same thing. And, and so it's great. You know, I love it. I love those, all of the brands of all the different islands, but I haven't come across a brand that is puts a spotlight on all of them together right that unifies them all i I love and appreciate the separate cultures themselves because each one of them does have their own little separate niche if you will right but in the end like so many of us are still our core values are very much so the same so why not unite together and and make things better going forward for our future? Yep, for sure. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end the episode. It is a short episode, but this is kind of like the pilot of, you know what, we're going to just call it the, I don't know, season, we'll just go season four since, you know, it's just going to be the continuation of the podcast, right? So yeah. season four, and um, I think this is episode 34. <laughs> is it? I think so. <laughs> I don't know. Episode, no, it's episode 33. So, but <laughs> see, the start of season four, episode 33. That's what we're going to do. Um, and before we head off, guys, I'm going to do a quick one must go. And then, you know, shout out the sponsors. And then we are going to hell it on out. So one must go. Okay. One must okay. go fast food restaurant edition. Okay. We do McDonald's, Jack in the Box, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut. Hmm. Do you love McDonald's fries? Damn. Pizza Hut is just too greasy for me. Jack in the Box is like a great like late night. I've been drinking too much. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, and Taco Bell, Taco Bell, you know, every once in a while you just get the hankering for it. And you're like, I need some Taco Bell. And then you get the, the taco shits. Shits. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Hey, I, honestly, I think I would have to say Pizza Hut. I agree. I totally agree. I'm going to, yeah. I was, I was going to do it to where it was all burger joints, but then I just did it to where like, it was like the bigger the biggest name brands and those are like yeah probably one of the few biggest name brands out there yeah i just I, their quality is not very good i mean not that any of their quality is like amazing let's be honest but like when it comes to pizza i'll go somewhere else i'm gonna papa john i will go to papa john's oh. i used to work there <laughs> oh, but <okay. laughs> that now i see why it's like but you know like if in. i like if it's one of those things where like I worked there and I would still eat their pizza. Like obviously it's not that bad. Yeah. Mainly for the mainly for the garlic sauce. That's really the biggest garlic parmesan st- sauce though on those garlic parmesan breadsticks. Yep. Mm. Mm. Amazing. <laughs> but yeah, we both agree on Pizza Hut and that is it. You're lucky. Uh, there's a lot more that I want to say, but we're going to cut it short. <laughs> and um, I'm going to be good about it. I'm be good about it by cutting it short. Um, but yeah, I wanted to uh, shout out the sponsor of the episode of the podcast, Elko Ohana. I'm wearing 
one of their shirts. You can check their social medias out at Okoa Ohana underscore. Um, in their bio is going to be their website and where you could use their discount code or our discount code. Your discount code. Yeah, our discount code so you guys can get 15% off. So it's Superstar TV. That's S U P A, not S U P E R. But yeah, go ahead and use that code and uh, get some of their merch and rep it. Um, they are a Hawaii clothing brand based out of Las Vegas and their designs are inspired by Hawaii foods. And so great products. Um, I love the packaging. I, I love the packaging. Right, right. <laughs> it's, so, it's so unique. It's so different. You know it I mean? is. I love it. So yeah, check them out, guys. You know, do us a favor, go check them out. And uh, I just repeated myself, but anyways, he means it. Go check them out. Uh, yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> but yeah, this podcast was brought to you by Pacific Ave Company. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we will catch you guys next time, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate you guys listening. Kaleo, as always. Remember to be uniquely you. The best thing that you could ever do. I'm proud of you for it. Remember, you deserve love, happiness, and kindness. If there's somebody you love, make sure you tell them. Yes, make sure you tell them, especially me. Just kidding. But <laughs> what I <laughs> what I usually say, guys, you know, just treat others the way that you want to be treated, man. You know, that's really it. It comes down to it. You know, if we respect each other and show each other love, then, you know, the world's going to be a better place, slowly but surely. Way better place. Yeah, we are done, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.